Hey my friends, welcome to this week's blog. Today we're going to talk about harmonic activation. and I'm going to show you two new ways that you probably haven't seen to activate the harmonics quickly and easily. Let's take a look. The first technique is one that most of you are familiar with already, but just for newcomers, I'll reiterate it. You can hit, obviously, the main tongue to get the combination of notes, but on any of these tongues, you can hit this little corner, right where that little swerve turn area is on the wing, and activate the harmonic. And this works on every tongue. And you're not using your whole finger to cover it, you're literally just using the side of your finger and hitting that. Now, in doing that, you can add that pretty easily to whatever rhythm you're playing. So Next is a technique that's a little bit harder, but still very accessible for quick playing. In this one, you're going to use your pointer finger. And instead of just tapping it like you normally would, you're going to be tapping with a forward slide and a release. So you're hitting it like this, sliding it forward, and then releasing, but all in one motion. So I'll, I'll demonstrate what it sounds like. And what this is doing is activating the right side of the tongue. So if you're hitting over here, it's almost like you're tapping it and then muting it at the same time. So again, I'm hitting it with my finger. It's hitting it, moving forward a little bit, and then pulling off. So it's almost like you're kind of sliding your finger gently across it with a hard initial attack. This allows you to do other sorts of sounds because it sounds very, this sounds, sounds very different than because you're really isolating that center note in these tongues. Um, again, this can be used in stuff like
the sake of thoroughness, I'll also show you the traditional way to do it. This isn't as fast, but once you get more adept at it, you'll be able to fly around on it. To access the main note, we know you hit the around the V of the tongue. To do the octave, you put, put your pointer finger in the center of the V and then hit the wing. To get the next note, you move over from the V on the right hand side and you hit that. Now, there's one other note above that. So you can go center of the V, right of the V, and then if you move three quarters of the way up the side of the tongue, you can get another note. So it's an octave of that center note. So you have this. Not all the tongues can do that very clearly, but the bottom four or five, usually you can get those. One, two, three. Another thing you can do when you're playing, obviously in the centered tongue, you have the, the main note, octave, fifth, higher note, but you also have one other note that's hidden here. And what I'm doing to access that note is I'm hitting with my pointer finger right around the A in the vast on the right hand side presuming the tongue is facing towards you. So you have this note, then you also have that note that's an octave of that center. this is doing, I think, is isolating one of these two sides. So you're just vibrating this one part of the tongue. And that gives you a really, really high, nice accent to some of the, the upper slaps above here. The beauty of the center tongue, too, is you have that main note, you have the octave, the fifth, that higher note, as well as the area above the tongue, which adds a nice potential harmonically. Friends, I hope you found this video useful and be on the lookout for a new video next week. Stay well and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And if you have any ideas for things that you want to see explained or talked about, please write below or feel free to contact me through my own YouTube page. Stay well.